on my account. <laughs> yeah, so um, I um, I was playing Dying Light 2, and uh, all this, I, I'm not kidding you, like, uh, I started yawning. I started yawning while playing Dying Light 2. So I this went ahead and, and uninstalled it. Cause I'm like, okay, when when I'm yawning, I'm um, I'm done. So I'm like, okay, I'm 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 done reviewing Dying Light 2. Um, technically speaking, it's it's in it's in good shape. You know, go ahead and play it. Now would be a good time. But for me personally, like I'm like okay, I'm I'm good. I've seen all I need to see. But honestly, any time I play Dying Light 2, it just makes me want to go back and play Dying Light or Dead Island. Here lately, it's mostly Dead Island that I've been interested in because I don't know, it's so fun. <laughs> Something just, just, just can't you just you can't find anything? Beat it. Teddy, Teddy, where have you been? Yeah. You've been a bad boy. Say thank you to the nice people. Sweet. My muscles are. Oh, thank. Oh, thank. Oh, thank. <laughs> oh, thank. Oh, thank. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Can't hurt to look. But yeah, uh, I did get to see some um, some content involving the um, the new uh, DLC Bloody Ties, and it's about as I expected. You know, I expected it to be uh, some kind of fighting arena uh, or challenge arena, right? Kind of like a. It's gonna be like I'm. I'm assuming it's a blend of. Like Bozek Horde style combat challenges, perhaps with a um, with some parkour challenges, which is it's kind of it's actually kind of funny to me regarding the the parkour challenges, considering the fact that uh, parkour challenges aren't really like it's. You don't see people, like, engaging that much with the parkour challenges in the base game. Like, uh... And... So, I just... I, I don't know if this DLC is gonna have the kind of staying power or that it's going to elevate the success of the game in, in, in a meaningful way for Techland. Um, because, to be honest, if, uh... If you had people participating in the parkour challenges that were in the base game, you know, just dragging out the experience, right? If they, if people even bothered to do that, which I would argue not a whole lot of people were that interested in doing the parkour challenges over and over and over and over again, and then like... And then come to find out the DLC drops for Bloody Ties. And they're going right back into... A, a, like, yes, it's it's a really beautiful location. Sure. Probably probably something that was cut from, from the game before, before it was released. To scale back the game, right? To make it... Uh, to make it something they could work with. And now they just, I'm, I'm assuming that Carnage Hall was probably something that they, they just, they're adding into, back into the game. Uh, and packaging it as a DLC to some degree. Uh, I don't think the, uh, the challenge, uh, I don't think Carnage Hall is going to, uh, is, it's going to keep players invested in Dying Light 2. I just, I don't see it. It's new, 
it's new for right now, and that's going to be enough to get some people interested in playing the game. But it's not going to be enough to keep players invested. If if challenges, if if introducing intricate or interesting challenges to the gameplay was going to be enough to keep players invested, wouldn't it have already kept them invested? I mean, considering the amount of challenges that are in the base game that I myself rarely interacted with it. I mean, because, I mean, challenges just didn't really, it wasn't my cup of tea. So, and there's also talk that they're, they're going to try to push um, PvP, but it's, or, or something like that, player versus player challenges, perhaps. They maybe want to push in that direction. Again, push, uh, taking, taking Dying Light uh, and sort of pushing it further and further away from its survival zombie horror roots into uh, some kind of M Mad Max hack and slash game, which it already felt that way, right? Dying Light 2 does. Uh, and now it's it's kind of push. Uh, they're wanting to push it even further. Like I think Carnage Hall is a pretty good sign that a uh, bloody ties the, the DLC. I think that's a pretty good indication that it's just kind of inching the player further into a, a sort of melee Mad Max world, right? Uh, so yeah, <laughs> I. Uh, it, this is just me, but I'm really glad I didn't spend any extra money buying Dying Light 2. I spent the $60, and uh, if I had spent $80 more to make sure that I had access to the new DLC, only to realize that it's pretty much just more challenges with a story mixed in. Uh, challenges that I didn't fool with in the base game. That I felt like added nothing to the game for me. Only like only to find out that the DLC is pretty much centered around challenges and uh, combat and parkour challenges. Really? Really? No, that would not have gone over well with me at all. <laughs> but uh, in other news, I am so excited the Callisto Protocol is coming out so soon. I got a, uh, a hard copy pre-ordered. I'm very, I'm so looking forward to that. And I'm also looking forward to Dead Island 2, which will be coming out, uh, I think, February 3rd of next year, which will be the anniversary of the uh, the release date for <laughs> Dying Light 2. <laughs> Technically, that's a one-year anniversary mark right there. And here comes Dead Island 2. Very interested to see what Deep Silver and, um, oh, what's... Uh, Dan Busters? Yes, I did play Homefront the Revolution. No, I... I, um... I thought it was crap. I did. But to be fair, I, uh... I remember... Techland having some of their early games that weren't all that great either, right? And then they knocked it out of the ballpark. Um... With Dead Island. And, uh undoubtedly dying light right so i have faith that you know if, if dan busters i i think they can do it i think they can do it i'm not gonna say they can't do it so we'll see on that one right there's a lot of exciting things to look forward to but yeah i had to uninstall dying light too i'm wanting to yawn just talking about it but yeah it's just i don't know what it is it's just it just doesn't have uh, it just it doesn't grab me you know like i put probably just as i put more time into dead island since i start playing it on a ps3 um and i never get tired of this game yeah i never get tired of dead island but man i struggle to stay awake playing dying light 2 i don't know what it is but as soon as i started yawning i'm like i have to uninstall this I did my review, honest opinion, it does look a lot better than it has since it released, but I, I can't bring myself to, to continue playing it. 
<laughs> I'm gonna save like all the all the content that I didn't finish. I'm just gonna save that for the next the next the next patch, right? If they bring out if they add some exciting content into the base game that I think we all freaking deserve, I will be I'll go ahead and I'll reinstall the game and we'll have a look at it then. But for now I, I had to stop. I had to stop. Ugh. Oh. Gosh, no, I couldn't. I couldn't take one more minute of it. It's like oh, I'm wanting to yawn just thinking about it. <laughs> so, but anyway, yeah, that's my thoughts on bloody ties. I don't know if it's gonna have the staying power. Again, I don't think cha the challenges that were in the open world, like the base game, uh, really piqued people's interest. It wasn't really like enough to keep people invested. I mean, two weeks ago, I checked uh, I checked player count for, for Dying Light 2, and there was one day, there was only 900 people playing playing that game on that day. Okay, so if these parkour challenges in the base game are that, you know, players are that invested in, in doing this sort of activity, um, you wouldn't have such low player count in that game. So having a DLC that looks like it's centered around this idea of melee and, and parkour challenges, um, masquerading as something else, is, I, I think it's cheap, guys. I'm sorry. I think it's very cheap. But anyway, that's my two cents. You all have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, and I will catch you on the flip side.